Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the line is right about at the door now, so if we could just get started here. I'm terribly sorry for the delay this evening. We just had an overwhelming turnout, which we're awful glad to have. Welcome uh, to the 2014 annual town meeting of the town of Hadley, Massachusetts. Today's date is May 1st, 2014. The return of the warrant shows it has been properly served. As custom, I ask you to please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and justice, and justice for all. Thank you very much. If we could have just a moment of silence, uh, we've lost some very important people in our community this year, uh, some very important people. Uh, near and dear to my heart, we lost John Devine this year, Gene Mashinsky, Laura Nidwicki, Frank Mastantino, Mike Majewski, and our beloved police chief, Dennis Huckowitz. Moment of silence for them, please. Thank you very much. I think everybody will say and remember how important those people were to our town meeting as we go forward tonight. I'd now like to call on Joyce Chungalo for the dedication of the annual report. Joyce? Hadley lost many public servants who will truly be missed. Their leadership, selfless dedication, and service to the town were exemplary. Their combined years of service to Hadley adds up to well over 100 years. Each served in different ways and their contribution to the town and impact on the community will be realized by generations to come. With their, many, with their memory in mind and, and tribute to their spirit, the board dedicates the 2013 annual report to Johnny Devine, Dennis J. Huckowitz, John F. Koloski, and John J. Pachinski. I'm going to call up John Devine's daughter, Maureen Jock and Sheila Konesny. And while they're coming up, I'd like to, um, John was, uh, for over 40 years, all of these men were Hopkins Academy graduates. Um, they served our towns in many different capacities. John was on the planning board. He served with the Oliver Smith will for over 40 years. His sense of humor and no-nonsense common sense will be missed, and we will surely miss him. <laughs> Dennis J. Huckowitz. If um, Janet, Andrew, and daughter-in-law Emmy would like to come up, or one, one or the other, we appreciate it. Dennis uh, was um, a Hopkins Academy graduate, as I said, and he served over 39 years on our police force. He was um, his program, dear to his heart, was the DAR program that he started here in Hadley. Dennis was well known not only for being in our police department, but out in the fields and a very dedicated farmer also. Dennis protected the family land in, the, in Massachusetts land trust collection so it could be never be developed. Dennis is known for his sense of humor, could always be found at town events, willing to listen and help the town citizens however they needed him. And we sure do miss him. This is niece Pat here. Hi, Pat. John was born in, born in Hadley. He was a four-term member of the select board. 
He was a devoted farmer. He had his passion with farmer and other local farmers. He loved his town of Hadley. Uh, he was, as I said, on the select board for four terms, including many years as the first selectman. John was also a volunteer fireman, as well as co-chair of the parade for the 300th anniversary. And he was also the parade marshal for the 350th anniversary. Uh, he considered it an honor to work for the people of Hadley to make the town a better place. Thank you. Martha Boyser would come up for John Kuczynski. Martha is John's sister. Younger sister. Younger sister. But there were so many of them that, that uh, it's a large family. John uh, graduated from Hopkins Academy. He was on the uh, championship team that had a 42 consecutive wins. He was the first basketball player at Hopkins to uh, reach 1,000 points. He started that. He went on to attend the University of Connecticut and played basketball there before returning to Hadley. Uh, he settled here with Pat and he became the head basketball coach, teacher, athletic director, and also became the uh, principal of Hopkins Academy. Throughout his life, John remained close to his roots and raised tobacco and asparagus. His greatest passion in his later years was his grandchildren and supporting them all in their endeavors. So. We appreciate what John did for the town. Every year we have awarded the Fred Oakley Junior Award for Volunteer of the Year. This year we are giving the award to Dennis and Jerry Devine. Did he? Did he? Jerry and Denise moved to Hadley in 1993. Together, their scope of volunteerism has touched residents throughout the town and beyond. And the impact of their efforts will have lasting impact on generations to come. Denise is the president of the Mothers Club. She's the state and X Factor Foundation, National Foundation chairman. Um, she serves in many areas of, of volunteerism throughout the town with the church. She does the um, passing for the foods for the food pantry. Um, there's a whole list. It's, it's amazing what you do, and I don't know where you find the time, but we thank you. And Jerry, you're, you're out there. You do everything. Our moderator on the select board um, never says no, and I don't think no is in their vocabulary. So we thank you for everything you do for Hadley. Thanks very much. And for anybody who knew Fred Oakley, it's a tremendous honor to be ever associated with his name. We thank you very much. And Denise is available for signing up at the end of the day. It's just $10 a piece, but she'll sign your, your town report if you bring it up to her. 